All right, getting mayed. Today is daf nun beis. We're picking it up on nun aleph amid beis, five lines from the bottom. Toshma. Toshma. Shnayim shekitshu shtei achoyes. If two guys are makadish, two sisters, ze eni yadeya ezo kiddush, ze eni yadeya ezo kiddush. And both of them don't know which one they are married to. Ze nice. And now we have a problem because you can't marry your wife's sister. So therefore, ze nice and shnei gitin, ze nice and shnei gitin. Each one has to give a get to each one of them. But it does seem to be a raya for a baya that kiddushin that's not masur and labia is a good. Kedushin. And that's why you have to give the Gittin, which the Gemara answers similarly as we did yesterday. Bishas Kedushin, they knew exactly what they were doing, and they just later forgot. So, if you're telling me that they really knew originally who they got married, so now this is just regular Hilchas Fekas. Why are we listing this in the Mishnah at all? And for the Gemara, say if it's Trichalai, because Mais Ulazeach, Ulazeach, let's say each one died, but they left a brother. So, Zechelet Lishtehen, Zechelet Lishtehen, each one of them has to do chalitza. Now we're introducing a problem of achais as kukasai. Lazeh echad lazeh shnayim. If one of them had one brother and the other one had two brothers, moving to Amid Aleph, the single brother of the first guy has to do chalitza with both of the sisters. As far as the two brothers from the other guy, one of them should do chalitza with one of the sisters and one of them can do yibam with the other sister because Mamon of Shach, as we explained yesterday, either she really does fall to yibam or she's bechalal, not zokok anymore because of the other guy's chalitza. But either way, you can marry her. Sim kod move but let's say if both brothers went ahead and married one particular sister each, Ain might see nice and miyadam, you don't force them to give a get. But dafka michlitz for hadar yibumi, that's only in the order first the single brother did the chalitza and then the other brother did the yibum. Avol yabumi for hadar michlitz lay. But if a brother in the second set first did the yibum and then the single brother then did chalitza, you'd have a problem. Pagabu yivam elashuk, because now he's running a real risk that he's marrying a woman who's zokuk to his brother. So she's yivam elashuk. Upon him, we don't have a raya that kedushin that's not masur and is going to be a good kedushin. Toshma, the tani tivumi loze chamit. Let's say if a guy has five sons, another guy has five daughters. So the first guy says, one of your daughters should become married to one of my sons. But he didn't say which daughter to which son. So call achas v'achas tricha chamisha gitten. Now because you don't know who they're married to. And in fact, meis echad mehem, if one of the brothers died, kol achas v'achas tricha arba gitten v'chalitza ma'echad mehem. Each one of the daughters now requires four gitten from each of the surviving brothers, and a chalitza from one of these four. You don't have to have chalitza from all of them, because one chalitza will take care of her. Now, even though this is Kedushin Shein Masur and Labia, still we need the gitten. Vice dice is a raya for Abaya. A Kedushin Shein Masur and Labia is still a good Kedushin. V'chitem, you're going to tell me, Hochinami Kishokril B'Soyf Arvu, which was our go-to terrets for the past few Tashmas. Ha'achas me b'nei secha, one of your daughters, la'achad me b'nei k'tani. One of your daughters should be married to one of my sons. This sounds like at the time of the Kedushin, we didn't specify which one it was, so don't tell me that it was clear and then it became mixed up. It was never clear. To which the Gemara finally says, Tiyufta derava tiyufta v'hilchasa kavase da'abaya b'yal kegam. So this is actually a standing raya and it's interesting. The Gemara says it's a tiyufta. So the yal kegam klal here is not a thing in and of itself that, well, because it's part of the yal kegam, therefore we pass on the lack of abaya. No, yal kegam is a simon that those were six times that abaya was able to bring proper rayas and we pass on like him. And this, of course, is the kuf of the yal kegam. Seems to be machleg is rashi taisis what the lamid is. al kapanim, that is the maskana of the Gemara. The Gemara now quotes the Mishnah Maisa Bechamesh Nashim. This is when all five women received the Te'enim, but two of the women within that group were sisters. So the Chacham said they're not Mekudeshes. The other three are. Omar Rav, Shmami Nami Masnis and Arba. There are four halachas so we can learn from this din of the Mishnah. Benokat Rav, Biyode Tlas. But Rav, Lumaisa, only accepted three of these four halachas. So what are the four halachas that we're talking about? Shmami Nami, number one. Hamakadish Beperish Shvius Mekudeshes. If someone is Mekadish and Isha with Perish Shvius, it will work. What's the Chidish in that? Rashi makes two points. Number one, it's considered his money when you're Zayich from Hegdish. And also, we don't say, Because Lamaisa, you're not eating these pears, you're using it for an actual Kenyan. You're being kind of Nisha. And Lamaisa, it's a good point. It really should be usher to do this. But al Kapanim, it will still be a good Kedushin. Now, in this case, the women are actually accepting the Te'inim on behalf of their sisters. So, based on that, the Makna wants to know whatever happened to Ein Shliach Ledvaravera. You're mask him that you can't do Schairo with Perish Vias. And the Naidi Behuda also brings this Kasha. But the Naidi Behuda says that the Kasha is not a Kasha to start with because Lamaisa, the woman herself, is not doing any Avera at all. There's no Avera for the Kaina, the receiver of the Perish Vias. The only Isser is to do the Schairo, and that's the husband. And the Woman here is not acting as a shliach to the husband, she's acting as shliach for the wife. Although that which the Knight of Yehuda says, it's not so posh. It could be that really there is an Isser also for the Kaina, not just for the Makna, to be Saich with Perishvias. 
Minchas Chinuch has an interesting shayla mitzvah pedal whether or not women are bechlam mechuyev in the essay of Perishvius because it might be a mitzvah essay shazman groma. So that would also make enough coming here whether these noshim are bechlal muzer in this uh, mitzvah essay. All right, but the first of the four dinim is the fact that if you're makadesh with Perishvius, it will still work. The second one is the shmami no kitcha begezel and mekudeshes, and the second halacha is that if you're makadesh and isha with gzela, it will not work. I feel begezel dida even if that stolen stuff is hers, I meaning you stole it from her and gave it back, because one might think, well, if she's accepted accepting it back, then she's being moichel, but we don't say that. Of course, the whole idea of a mechila of a dvar be'en is not posh it at all. This potentially can support the idea that really when someone steals something, they really are kainet with their kinyan exela, just to have a chi of hashava. So this that we talk about her mechila, it's not being moichel on the actual dvar be'en, because that may not work, but she's being moichel on her chiyuvim of his chi of hashava to her, that is Shaykh the potential Mechila Umamela. When he gives it to her, he's actually giving her something that he owns. Now, Mimai, how do you see from the Mishnah that a Makadish Begezel's in a Makadesh is a Fila Begezel Dida? Zok there. Midiktani Shalahem Haisa, Vishal Shviyas Haisa. The Mishnah went out of its way to make a point that these Ta'in belonged to these Nashim and they were during the Shemitah year. So, time of the Shviyas to Hefker, well, the Sharsh Neshvu is Loi. But let's say if it would have been any other year, it wouldn't have worked because it would have been real Gzela. So, now you're, there you have your Raya. Ushmamino and Halacha number three that we learned from this is. We know that a tzara is kind of out to get her wife, hence the name tzara, and therefore you might think it would not work to make a shliach, but she could be a shliach even though she's making her this other woman into her own co-wife. I would have actually suggested, I don't know if there's any truth to this, that there would be a difference in the Maisa Kedushin before these women are living as a tzara, where that's where you'll have the jealousy and all the bad feelings. But right now, at the moment of Kedushin, they're not yet tzaras, so, I don't know, maybe that is the Kiddush, that she can be a shliach to be Makabal Kedushin for her own tzara. The Idach Mahi, and what's that fourth halacha that Rav was not Makabal? It's that Kedushin, Shein Masur and Labia, right? Armach Legis Abai and Rava. Frechting Rav and Nechashva. Why shouldn't Rav include this one also? Why wasn't Rav Maskim? Why didn't he see it from the Mishnah? He didn't know how to Paskin. So therefore, he left that one out. But in Echanami, you do have a Raya from our Mishnah, the Shita Sabaya, the Kedushin, Shein Masur and Labia, have a Kedushin. Kisolak Rav when Rav went up from Eretz Yisrael to Bavel, Amra La Shmaitza Kamei Du Rav he said this din of Rav about being Makadish Begzela, Beshem Rabbi Yechanan. Omar Lay, when Rabbi Yechanan heard that Rabbi Zeir said this, Omar Lay, me Omar Rav Hachi, did Rav really say this? And the Gemara just assumes in the Havamina I mean, that Rabbi Yechanan was surprised because he thought Rav was wrong. Therefore, the Gemara asks, Omar? Didn't Rabbi Yechanan also say the same thing? So clearly, if you can't be Makdish this, so you can't marry a woman with it either, you see the parallel once again between the Hegdish and and the Kedusha Isha, which the Gemara says, no, Hachi Ka'omerle, this is what Rabbi Yechanan meant, me, Omer Rav Kavasi, did Rav really say like me? He was so happy that Rav agreed with him. Meisve, more about being Makadish and Isha with Gezel. The Brisa says, Kitsha Begezel, Bechamas Ubegneva, Aisha Chotaf Selam Yadav Kitsha, or he took a Sela from her and then was Makadish her with it. Allah is Mikudeshes. So clearly, you see, you can be Makadish and Isha with Gezela, to which the Gemara says, Hosam Begezel Dida. In those cases of the Brisa, we're talking about where the actual Dvar Nigzel came from the Kala herself. So the very fact that she accepted it means she's being maskim and allowing the Kedushin to take place. But Stam, if you take Gzela from somebody else, in a Hanami, the Kedushin would not work. Correct? The Gemara Homa Diktani Sefer from the fact that the Bryce's latter case says, Oishachot of Selamisha La, Mechlal Doreshi Begezel Di Amalaskin. And it's pretty clear that the Bryce is talking about where you took other people's money and not from the Isha herself. So the Gemara says, now, Pirushi Kama Farish. Kitsha Begezel Bechamas of Geneva. Kate said, what's that case? Kitsha Begechot of Selam Yodav Kitsha Bai. The whole thing is a Pirushi Kama Farish. Correct? The Gemara moving over to Ahmed Bey is Bahamas Nisan de Gezel Tida. Our Mishnah was talking about where you stole it from her. The Koma Rav Enim Kudeshes. So don't tell me there's a chilek whether it's hers or whether it's somebody else's. You can't be Makash with Gezel even if it is hers. To which the Gemara says, Lekosha, Hadesh Shadech, Hadole Shadech. It depends whether or not there was a Shadech. If you saw coming out of left field, it won't work. But if there was already a Shadech and they already agreed to get married, so then when she accepts the Gzela, it could be because, okay, it was maybe it was convenient or whatever. She's Michael at that point, And therefore it would work. Ahi Itza, so a woman was washing her feet in some kind of wash basin. Also, who gave her chot of zuzi mechavre v'shadolai. A guy wanted to be mekadesh this isha. A guy wanted to be mekadesh this isha. A guy wanted to be mekadesh this isha. So he just grabbed some coins from his.
his chaver, and he and he threw them to this woman. Amar la mikadishli, he mikudeshes to me with this money. Also, who gaver lekamei the rava? He wanted to know the halacha. Did it work? Amar rava said, less the chosh la hader Reb Shimon. Nobody's really concerned about what Reb Shimon says. Amar stam gzela yish bailem have. There's a shaila machlekes tanaim whether or not there's stam gzela is yish bailem because you could hear that if someone steals something so brazenly, you know, the guy's miyish because I'll never get it back. He's not he he's not afraid for me to steal from me in broad daylight. Must be I'll never see this money again. The other way to learn is I'll ne- I don't know who the culprit is because he got it under the cover of darkness. Then I don't know who stole from me. Then I might be more miyish. Okay, that's machlekes tanaim. But anyway, over here I'm saying we're not worried about Reb Shimon. Therefore, we don't say it's stam yish bailem bagzela. And therefore, you have no right to assume that there was a yish um and mela. There is no kedushin. What's the significance of the fact that she was washing her feet? The Ritva says even though maybe she was distracted because she was busy with the rechitza, or maybe the point is that it was more of a outdoor public location and there was more of a gzela, or maybe the whole idea is this is like maybe this is a gzela manas lahaknit, meaning your guy's planning on paying it back. It's just it was a there was just an opportunity because the woman who happened to have been there and she was busy with this, and therefore that's why I gotta have the money right now. Of course, I'm not really gozzling this money because I'll pay the guy back right away. But all those things are not going to help. Next case, who are recent the Moiza de Shamche, a guy who was a sharecropper, was Makadish and Isha with a handful of onions from that field that he was sharecroppering. Now, he hadn't yet received it, so it's technically still gzela because he has not done the division with the owner of the field. Also, Lekamei de Rava, Omar Le, Rava said to him, Man achalach, who gave you this chalik of these onions, meaning you're not the owner, and therefore it's gzela, and therefore it's not a good kedushin. Bahani mili b'meza, that's only when he did it with like a handful of these onions. Avul kisha, but let's say if he gave a bundle of onions, and Motzi Amrla, then he could say to the owner, Ana shakli kisha, shakalat kisha. Look, I took a bundle, you took a bundle. If it's already packaged up, then you might say that there really is a proper division happening here. Therefore, kisha, kikisha, one bundle is just like any other bundle. So I took my units, they're mine, and therefore the kudushin would work. So that would be the nafkamina, depending on if it was bundled. One more case, how husarisa de kaddish be pruma de shikra. This is a guy who is a beer brewer, and he was makadish the isha with the uh, dates dregs that were the property of his employer. Also, Mari de shikra ashkeche, so later the owner of the brewery found out that his employee took these date dregs and was makadish nisha. Omer Lay, the owner said, Amayle tesef mehai charifa. Why don't you give her some of the more choshev, uh, better stuff, which implies that he was masking to the shidduch. Also, Lekamei de Rava, so when the guy had a shayla, maybe this kedushin was actually good. Omar, Rava said, Loi Omru, klach etzel yafas el inyan truma bilvad. The only time we have this kind of expression of the klach etzel yafas, that's dafko in truma, where you want to know later on, did you take from the right area that the balbus had you take truma from? And you won't apply that kind of a klal to kedushin. De Tanya, because what's the mucker from Truma? We learned that in Brisa, Kate said, Amru, Tyrem Shalemi Das, Truma say Truma, that if you are Mafresh Truma without the knowledge of the owner, it's still going to work. If the Balabayas is Meicha because he's afraid of Gezel in Trumasai Truma, then he's not mask him to it, and therefore there's no Shlichus. How does he know him Chayshishim Gezel and Lav? When the owner when the owner came and found him, meaning this Shliach who is Mafresh the Truma, and he says, he really should go get the better stuff to give his Truma. If there's better pay that the owner had than Truma said Truma because clearly he was mask him to it and he wasn't Chesh Gezel. The Imlav ain't Truma said Truma. How you a bailam malaktim? Let's say the owners are gathering more Paris and then separated Truma from them, Umoisifim, and they added it, meaning the new Truma to the already Hufrus Truma, then Benkach, who Benkach, Truma say Truma because clearly he's indicating his approval. Avol Hacha. But this line from the beer brewer owner that said Tesif Mehai de Harifa, that's Mishum Kisufu who David. He might have just said this because he was embarrassed, not because he was really mask him to. To the, what this guy did, so the Mishnah. Now we start the sugya of being makdish with kudshim. We're gonna learn about kudshim for the next few blot. A makadesh bechelkai. Let's say a guy is makadesh and isha with his chelik of the carbon. Bein kudshe kudshim, bein kudshim kalim, ena mikudeshes. And the simple understanding is because the kain's not giving her anything because the kain doesn't really own it. It's really hegdish. It's really owned by the beis amigdish. It's owned by the rabbanu shalom. Now Tais this points out that you're still giving her something that she can have hana with. So why should it be any worse? Than then the Almanah Shadabra Alech as we're going to learn about, you can give a service to somebody even if you're not actually giving them a real thing and it's still going to work. And Tysus answers that there's a chilik whether or not it's something that is valuable klape the nice. In other words, you can pay money for someone to speak to the Shultan on your behalf. That's worth actual money. But here, the Tyvus Hana that she receives is not coming from him, but rather it's coming from Mom and Gavaya. Now, Lamaisa, so the Rashash points out that the two, that the Shakal of Atariya of Tysus really might be the Tutstadim in a Shail of a Mishnah 
Melech. The Mishnah Melech wants to declare that you obviously can't be Mekadosh and Isha with Yisurei Hana. She can't get Hana. But let's say she's a Chayla Shish Pesachana, and therefore she could get Hana from Yisurei Hana, just because of the Matzev. So Mitzad the Naisei, and it's Asur Bahana, and it's worthless. But, but Mitzad the Mekabel, meaning the Isha here, it is worth something because Lamaisa, she can have it. She's a Chayla Shish Pesachana. So that really could be the Shackle of Atari here of Taistus, that in, that in the Kasha, since Lamaisa, she gets the Taiva Sana, it should be a good Kedushin. But and for Taistus, since Lamaisa, Mitzad the Naisei, and it's not considered a Pruta, it won't be a good Kedushin. Continues the mission of Meiser Shani. Let's say a guy is Makadish and Isha with Meiser Shani ben Shagig of Amazed, Loi Kiddish, Diver of Meir. If you would Imer ben Shagig, Loi Kiddish, but Mazed Kiddish. This is going to depend on the status of how we look at Meiser Shani, and we'll talk more about that in the Gemara as well. Ube Hagdish. Let's say you gave things that were owned by the Beis HaMegdash to an Isha, but Mazed Kiddish. Beshagig, Loi Kiddish, Diver of Meir. If you would Imer ben Shagig, Kiddish, but Mazed, Loi Kiddish. And we're going to explain in the Gemara in tomorrow's daf what is going on here. We'll just start the Gemara now. Name of Mastis and Likr Bisag Lili. Our mission can't be going like Rabbi Yisak Lili. What does Rabbi Yisak Lili hold? Tanya Umoala Moal Bahashem. The Rabbis Kachim Kalam Shehain Memainai. Divir Rabbi Yisak Lili. We say that Kachim Kalam are Momen Bailam according to Rabbi Yisak Lili. To which the Morse is not really a Raya. I feel Tamer Rabbi Yisak Lili. Because Kikam Rabbi Yisak Lili, that's Mechayim Avala Achar Shechita Loi. But even Rabbi Yisak Lili is going to be masking that after the Shechita, it's not going to be the owner's property. Because my time, because Ki Kazachu, Yishulchim Gavaya Kazachu, and Dekin Ami Diktani, and Makadish Bechel Kai. Ben Kachim Kachim Ben Kachim Kalam like Kiddush Shema Minos. So it's clear from the mission that we're only talking about the chelik that you got from the geshachtan animal, not to the live animal of Kachim Kalam. So Shema Minos, you have a raya from this mishnah that's working with Shitas Rabbi Yisai Aglili that Kachim Kalam is mumin bailam while it's alive and it's considered mumin gavoyha after the shechita. Tonu Rabbanon laacher p'ti rosh hashol Reb Meir. Once Reb Meir died, Omer lahem Reb Yehuda la talmid of al yekansu talmid Reb Meir lekan. Don't let the talmid Reb Yekiva into my yeshiva because the nisha kantranim heim. They're just starting up with me. They're just trying to provoke. Me. They don't want to even come to learn. They want to just, they just want to give me a hard time. But still, Simchas pushed his way in. Amar Laham, he said to them, If an Isha is with a, with a carbon, he said, Didn't I say to you, What happened to my bouncer? Why? Because there's no Isha there in the Beis HaMikdash. There's no reason to think that she should even be there in the first place where the Kachim Kalim are eaten, and therefore she's not going to get those things. Amr Yesi Yoimru, Meir Shach of Yehuda Kos, Yesi Shasak. Meir died, Yehuda got angry, and Rabbi Yesi was quiet. Divrei Tayr Matahe Alea. So therefore, Rabbi said, Adam Nobody else can be Makabal Kedushin for his daughter in the Azara. In other words, he sent a Shliach. Somebody else could have accepted who was allowed to go into the into the Azara. Let's say Kasha a Maisa. A woman pushed her away in, even if it wasn't appropriate, but she went in there and she was Makabal Kedushin. In other words, why can't Rav Meir's Halacha be by Kachu Kachim be Nagea? We're going to stop here and pick it up in Mirza Hashem tomorrow.